There will be eight questions about emission control systems on the test. One of those questions will be about the PCV system. Now, this video assumes you have an understanding of how these systems work and the components that make up these systems. So, what is the PCV system designed to reduce? The PCV valve flow is low at idle and low speeds and flow is high under heavy loads and high speeds. If the PCV valve is stuck open, this is similar to a vacuum leak. You'll have a rough idle and a lean air fuel ratio. If PCV valve is stuck closed, the crankcase will build excessive pressure, which can damage gaskets, which can lead to oil leaks. Moisture can build up in the crankcase, which leads to the formation of sludge. To test the PCV valve, you can shake it. If it rattles, it should be good. A better test is on an idling engine, remove the PCV valve from the grommet and feel for vacuum on the bottom of it. Moving on to EGR. Which exhaust gas is the EGR system designed to reduce? EGR is open at speeds above idle. If the EGR valve is stuck open, you can have a rough idle, stalling, or even a no start. If the EGR valve is stuck closed, combustion temperatures and NOx emissions will increase. If combustion temperatures increase, the likelihood of detonation also increases. If the vacuum hose is no good, or if there's an open in the wiring, the EGR valve will not open, which can lead to the aforementioned symptoms. There's two main types of EGR, electronic and vacuum controlled. Here, I'm testing the vacuum controlled EGR. The point of the test is to see if the EGR valve can open and close. Here, I remove the vacuum supply hose. I'm going to manually supply vacuum to the EGR valve. I supplied about 18 inches of mercury and the RPMs drop and the engine is idling rough. The EGR valve can hold vacuum. It can also open and close. There's a better test that involves a 5 gas exhaust analyzer and the engine RPMs are set to 2000. I doubt this will be on the test. To test electronic control EGR, you would open the EGR valve with a bidirectional scan tool and watch the RPMs drop. Last up is the EVAP system. Which gas is the EVAP system designed to reduce? What is the most common component that sets an EVAP leak code? Here we focus on the EVAP purge valve and vent valve. The purge valve is closest to the intake manifold and is normally closed. The vent valve is usually closed to the fuel tank and is normally open. If the purge valve is stuck open, you can have a rough idle. If the purge valve is stuck closed, you'll most likely get a trouble code. To test a purge valve, you would connect a vacuum pump to it. Since it's normally closed, it should hold vacuum. And it's holding vacuum, it's good. At this point, you would use a bidirectional scan tool to open it and no vacuum should be present at this point. If you get a trouble code for a large leak, you can use a smoke tester to find the leak. I've sort of rushed through these emission control systems, but I believe the questions on the test won't be that in depth. Just know the basics of how the system operates and you should be fine. If you worked on plenty of these systems, most of the questions should be a no brainer. Tune in for video number four. Exhaust system restrictions.